Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, finally zone 2 open, then season of stripe is here and we are going to have some great fights against our enemies and let's see how successful the fights will be. Of course, we need to say that uh, we don't have any long-range warfare in this game um, anymore, which means uh, archers are not having the same amount of range as before, but still we have two mage legions which we are going to fight with, and that will be the case. Of course, I'm interested in what kind of uh, amount of merit we are going to finish this fight, and so far I will be playing uh, one by one legions, simply because we are fighting against tier 5 players and I would have my hospital bill uh, too much if I will start playing with all of my fighting legions. Uh, first one will be of course Walder and Welling. Uh, unfortunately what I can see here is that on from the enemy side I can see only infantry players uh, which doesn't really sound good because I'm, I'm pretty sure they have uh, tier 5 infantry and I will have a lot of damage uh, as a counter-attack damage to myself. Uh, I will try my best to deal as much damage as possible of course and as always I will be trying to use my artifacts on a multiple people. And yeah that was my first artifact use and of course at first we should try to delete these infantry players uh, simply because they are just too much right? Without infantry, they won't gonna be able to push us back. And that's the whole case about fighting in Call of Dragons so far. That infantry decides what you are going to do in the fights, right? Uh, already we can see that some of ma marksmen players are struggling because they need to go closer to enemies. And yeah, the enemy is stronger than us, unfortunately, but we will be still trying to be as impactful as possible. I will try to relocate in a position where I will be able to uh, safely deal some damage and so far um, we have not got even targeted once and we are dealing damage to unfortunately some infantry players and simply because that's the only uh, hero pairs which we can actually see uh, around the battlefield. Uh, that's the main idea, that's the main struggle about some fights because uh, sometimes as a damage dealer legion type, as a main of archers and mages, it's quite hard to choose the affordable hero pair where you can just stand still and try to attack as much as possible. But of course, I think here Walder and Welling is doing absolutely fine. Uh, right now I'm trying to hit some mage legions because that's the most perfect target which you can actually have in this kind of fights and hopefully um, it will be successful whenever we are going to check the merit score. Uh, we will be seeing a lot of units there. This is a good cluster where I will be more than happy to use my artifact. And let's see, yeah, I caught the, max caught the maximum amount of legions. But the main idea behind this fight is that we kind of have to clear um, as much infantry as possible because they are the uh, most important whenever enemy is pushing you, right? Of course, sometimes you kind of have to deal damage to uh, infantry players simply because they are quite a lot. Uh, but still, whenever you have a chance to deal damage to the backline, which is more of a uh, mages and archers, you kind of have to deal damage to them. I think mages will be the most popular hero pair from the ranged ones in this season because I have fought already once and uh, for marksmen it's like... It, it's it's looking quite hard because you kind of have to move uh, forward in order for you to deal some amount of damage and uh, moving forward means that you are accessible towards uh, mage players which are dealing high amount of damage as always right now I will try to move back uh, my mid I did my best to be uh, as alive as possible because I think that's the only thing times uh, when you can actually deal some damage and in order for me to have my other legions saved uh, I need to move uh, them back and try to continue dealing damage with my Walder, right? The next one should be my Bertrand and the Tohar which I made by myself 
uh, from the scratch for this season because I knew that um, long range warfare, uh, removing long range warfare would be a problem in some cases. Uh, so I think I made the correct decision by just simply you know, trying to have second main, main uh, mage legion, which I will be fighting with. Uh, so far, we are fighting with my free-to-play Walder and Wellin. Of course, Walder is awakened, and Wellin is simple free-to-play players Wellin, right? I will be happy if I will use my artifact one more time in a good cluster. Uh, that should be the priority right now, and I will try my best to do that. Uh, right now, at first, let's charge the Phoenix Eye, which is, I think, on a second level. And try to deal. Uh, yeah, I kind of hit uh, stray legions, which is uh, good enough, if you ask me. And yeah, let's just finish off by uh, dealing as much damage. Even if you are low health, whenever you are far away from your home, it's much better to just uh, keep your legion, um, like make your legion to die, so you will be able to go home freely. Uh, now it's time for me to use my second. Uh, Mage Legion, which is Bertrand and Tohar with the Mara Job. Uh, and yeah, let's see, maybe we will be able to deal some uh, good amount of damage towards our enemies. Uh, well, they are stronger, that's the case right now. Uh, they are much, much stronger, but of course, we will try our best to be as active as possible. And of course, Merit Store just opened, and I'm not sure what you are doing if you are not fighting in these kind of moments, right? Um, regarding, in regards to Bertrand and Tohar, uh, Bertrand and Tohar is more of a single target uh, damage dealer mage hero pair, which is dealing damage to only one uh, legion, like if you're gonna compare it to uh, Thea and, um, not Thea, like Welin and uh, Walder. Uh, Walder is dealing damage to multiple targets, same as Lilia, but in regards of Bertrand and Tohar, we are dealing damage to only one uh, target which you will just be clicking. I will try to have a better position here because enemy is uh, attacking us from the multiple flanks. And yes, sometimes as I said you kind of have to deal damage to infantry because I think you are dealing quite a good amount of damage to infantry too. Uh, unfortunately I'm not sure uh, about, uh, free about being a free to play player in tier 4 attacking infantry but uh, if you are not killing infantry, then you are having a lot of problems, right? Uh, so let's try to try our best to deal as much damage as possible in these fights and uh, we will see how far uh, we got progress throughout the game because I think fighting is a good indication on how you are progressing through the game and let's see um, how successful we will be in these fights. I think Walder and Welling was pretty successful uh, we did quite a lot of damage to enemy uh, and of course uh, the artifact Phoenix Eye is designed to be good in mass PvP and yeah unfortunately I got targeted which means I kinda have to move back. Uh, so far I'm not receiving any damage but of course uh, as, my cl as our cluster is moving back it's getting harder and harder for us to deal some damage. Of course enemy is having way more uh, tier 5 players with way more infantry players and that's always the case whenever you are fighting, right? Um, if you have more infantry players than your enemies, you are doing quite good. But if you are, if that's opposite, then I think you are having some kind of problems uh, with your fighting, right? Um, of course, now, now we are in a more of a defensive formation uh, because enemy is moving forward and in this kind of fights it's pretty... Uh, hard to uh, stay alive longer and deal damage because you are constantly moving and you don't have enough time to purely just stand still and try to attack enemies. Finally we got some uh, backup from the infantry players because they are holding a little line uh, where we can stand and attack and that's the main idea behind infantry, right? Uh, sooner you're gonna destroy infantry, more damage you will be able to deal. Uh, of course my resort is already uh, available and I will try my best to use my Rajor because I think that's the one of the best uh, mage artifacts we are having so far. Of course it would be much better if it was uh, 5 levels but whatever it takes right uh, as long as I have it because as a free to play player it's not that easy to get uh, good artifacts and whenever I got my Rajor I was really really happy uh, regarding that. 
Uh, finally, we are able to stand and deal some damage with Bertrand and Tohar, which are 5111 Bertrand and Tohar. And finally, uh, we can move move forward and deal damage to the back line because it was pretty hard for us to do damage to their, their front line because they had mainly two five players. Um, well, unfortunately, because of so many movements uh, around the battlefield, uh, my Bertrand kind of took quite a lot of damage because of the running back and choosing the better position. But so far, I think I still managed to deal some damage uh, to enemies and may I hope it will be more than 10k merits because that's always the minimum which I'm always trying to get, right? Whenever you are fighting, you should be able to get at least 10k merits, especially even if you are fighting against tier 5 players. Well, I need to take it into the consideration that uh, this is like purely free to play account, purely free to play legions, and uh, sometimes you might not even get 10k because you are fighting against tier 5 players. Uh, right now, my main idea is to use my artifact at least once more. Uh, because of the damage and then I think uh, this region will be ready to go home and refill, right? Uh, right now I'm trying my best to charge my artifact uh, because that would be the highest amount of damage I can do uh, with the low amount of troops, but sometimes whenever you are trying to um, you, like charge your artifact, your legions are so low that you are getting so many damage from the uh, tier 5 counter-attack damage that uh, you are getting killed, right? Finally, I'm using, I used my Mirage Orb and soon I guess it will be uh, time for me to send this Legion home. Um, I'm really hoping that it will be more than 10k uh, because that's the minimum amount I'm always trying to get. And of course, whenever you see cavalry players running uh, towards your cluster, it's a great target to hit. Uh, so pretty soon uh, this legion will be going home um, five we are even hitting some infantry uh, to make them uh, to be able to even deal a little bit damage because uh, well not every single person is the main character of every single fight uh, because it's a team game and uh, it's about community not being a single target a single player in this kind of games uh, i think it's time for me uh, time for bertrand and tohar i'm not sure how I, how i'm not um, already at home but i'm trying my best and hopefully uh, i will have enough time to showcase uh, my other marksmen but i'm i'm seeing that enemy is moving back um, i'm seeing that enemy doesn't have much more troops to fight with and i think uh, this video will be uh, purely about mages and free to play mage gameplay with Walder and Welling uh, and with Bertrand and Tohar. Uh, well, I think I will try my best to make this uh, Bertrand and Tohar Legion better and better until I will see more uh, major uh, new hero pairs because next cluster of new heroes should be uh, the infantry and then the uh, mages are coming to the town. Um, I think um, Card of Dragons is progressing pretty well, fine uh, uh, throughout the year, I guess, or throughout some time. And well, I managed to make my Legion survive in the moment that I have one more uh, Mirage Orb to use, which is quite good, right? Um, let's try to use Mirage Orb one more time. Let's try to charge it, and, uh, and that should be the highest amount of DPS we will be doing in this kind of fight, right? Of course, enemy is moving back. They don't have. Well, I guess I throw my Mirage Orb to that guy, which uh, should be good because they are having a low amount of uh, HP on their troops and they are just moving and running away. I guess this video will be about mage gameplay and for the play mage gameplay, gameplay in Season of Stripe, uh, which will be important because I think uh, fighting with mages will be meta in these fights, and I think infantry and ma mages will be most popular uh, hero pairs, and style in general, I think, in Call of Dragons so far. The enemy is moving back, um, my Bertrand and Tohar is still alive. Uh, 20k units which is quite funny uh, but yeah I guess whatever it is uh, it's much better to make my legion die rather than just ascend this 20k and uh, be hopeful that 
somebody and maybe you will uh, like if i will send my 20k legions home right now uh, i will take more more time by walking back rather than just killing this 20k and uh running home faster like this right that's what i'm actually trying if spiral hit me at least one uh, that's even even better because i'm already interested how much merits i will be able to get from this kind of fights um what's the key about things that marksmen are having more range if we're gonna compare them uh, by the other seasons but uh, we are having less range which is um, visible actually and i think uh, more this re less range will be really really impactful uh during the fights and during the gameplay in general uh, i'm trying my best to send my legion back home maybe i will be taking some counter attack damage but uh, my legion is still moving forward uh, my 20k mages i know it's not a good thing to fight with 20k troops but <clears throat> it will be super long until um, I will send my legions back home by walking, right? That's like why I'm trying to, trying my best to send them home uh, by killing them. Uh, 6k, 6k is left until um, my legions will, my legion will be, be, be going home and we will be able to check the merit score. I think this will be the end of my uh, legion. Um, I even managed to use my artifact and yeah, that's enough, right? Now it's time for us to see the merits which we got uh, from this fight and 30k, 70k, uh, which I think is pretty good. Um, well, yellow merits are always great to see whenever you are fighting against strong enemies or even enemies which are quite similar uh, power as you. Um, as I have said it before, 10k merits per legion is my goal as always, but whenever there is yellow it means that I did a pretty good job. And yeah, the mages look quite fine in this kind of fights and in general in Season of Tribe I think this should be the uh, major season. Uh, last seasons were about marksmen and this one should be all about mages. It is, this is the merits I got from this fight with free-to-play mages and I hope soon I will have a chance to showcase the marksmen uh, without long-range warfare which should be interesting, right? Um, as always, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game. I wish everybody amazing morning, day or night. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye bye and good luck.